Good morning, everyone. I'm thrilled to share with you the concept of opportunity. What is opportunity, really? Many people seem to think that opportunities are these big, momentous occasions that will scream at you from the sidelines. But let me share something with you. More often than not, opportunities are quite the opposite. They are the small choices and chances that come your way every single day, often when you least expect it. Let's dive into some crucial life lessons. First off, we're talking about attitude. Your attitude shapes everything from how you approach challenges to how you deal with successes. Then we've got goal setting. You need both short-term and long-term goals to keep you focused and motivated. Next up, habits. These little routines have immense power in shaping your life, so make sure you're cultivating the good ones. Now, obstacles are inevitable, but they're also opportunities for growth. Embrace them and learn from failure because that's where the real lessons are. Creativity and innovation. They're your secret weapons in tackling problems and finding new paths to success. Building momentum is key, but so is sustaining it. Now, let me share with you a little story that beautifully illustrates this point. There was once a young man, much like some of you, who felt utterly defeated by life's circumstances. Day after day, he saw no progress, felt no joy in his efforts, and was about to give up. But one morning, he decided to change his routine. Instead of dwelling on what hadn't worked, he asked himself a simple question. What if today I found something that did work? This shift in mindset led him to try new approaches, to meet new people, to open up to new opportunities that he had previously walked past. And you know what? It didn't all change in one day, but each day added up, and eventually, his life transformed completely. So here's a question for y'all. What could you do differently today, knowing that it could be the start of something new? What small step could you take today that might just be the beginning of a whole new path in your life? Consider the great achievement. And history started with a decision to try one more time, often on a day just like today. Greatness doesn't require a monumental start. Sometimes, all it takes is a simple decision, a minor shift in your daily routine, or a new way of thinking. As we move forward today, think of this each day as a precious gift, packed with infinite possibilities. How will you unlock these possibilities? What will you do with this gift? Remember, every day is a new opportunity to change your life. All you need to do is seize it. Let's make today count, shall we? Now let's dive into the heart of today's discussion and uncover the opportunities that await us. Consider this your op, you're at your local coffee shop, and the person behind you is fumbling with change, a few coins short of their order. You step up, offer up the small change needed. A simple act, but what you didn't realize is that the person is the owner of a local business, looking for someone reliable for a new project. Your small gesture of kindness not only made their day, but could potentially open the door to a new business opportunity for you. Here's another story. There was once a woman who loved painting, but she kept her art to herself, making it wasn't good enough to be shown publicly. One day, her friend persuaded her to display a few pieces in a local community center. Reluctantly, she agreed. To her surprise, a local business owner attended the event, was captivated by her work, and commissioned her to create a mural. Her hidden hobby, once brought into the light, became a significant turning point in her life. These stories highlight a critical misunderstanding about opportunities. Many people wait for life-changing events, believing that opportunity should be grand and obvious, like a door flinging wide open with golden light streaming out. But in reality, opportunities often whisper. They're subtle, unassuming, and sometimes disguised as mundane interactions. So why do we miss these opportunities? Often it's because we're not looking for them. We walk through life with a fixed gaze, searching for specific signs, but life isn't a treasure map marked by bold X's. Opportunities don't always come labeled as we might expect. Let me ask you that, I've overlooked an opportunity because it seemed too trivial or came at an unexpected moment. Maybe it was a conversation you could have joined but chose not to or a task you could have volunteered for but didn't. It's these moments that often hold the key to new paths, new connections, and new experiences. Now let's do a little exercise. Think about your day today from the moment you woke up to right now. Can you identify one moment where you might have encountered a hidden opportunity? Maybe it was striking up a conversation with someone in line or offering a hand to someone in need. Think about what that moment taught you or could have taught you had you taken it. It's these daily decisions. These tiny, seemingly insignificant actions are the threads from which the fabric of our lives is woven. They shape our past more profoundly than any grand plan or big decision ever could. It's opportunities for growth, for learning, for networking. They're all around us every day.
So how do we make sure we recognize these opportunities? It starts by being present. You need to be truly present in the moment, in every interaction and every task. Listen actively when others speak. Or not just the big picture, but also the details. And most importantly, keep an open mind. An open mind is like an open door. It invites opportunities to come in. Remember, each small opportunity you seize will teach you something new. Whether it's about your field, about others, or about yourself, each one is a stepping stone to greater things, shaping you into the person who's ready when those bigger opportunities do come knocking. Now let's continue and think about how we can turn these opportunities into stepping stones, building towards the future we envision for ourselves. Imagine you're standing before two doors. One opens to a garden where you've been told treasure lies hidden under a tree, and the other opens to a room filled with mirrors reflecting a bright light. Now the door you choose to open could very well depend on your attitude. If you're optimistic and believe in the promise of treasure, you might head straight for the garden. If you're skeptical or fearful of the unknown, you might choose the room that's clearly lit, where you can see everything around you. This simple choice illustrates how your attitude can shape your perception of opportunities. Your attitude acts as a filter, coloring what you see, how you feel, and ultimately what actions you take. It can lead you to either embrace opportunities with open arms or let them pass by unnoticed. Let me share a powerful story about someone who learned this lesson in a transformative way. There was a woman named Maria who worked in a small, unremarkable job. Every day, she would go to work with a sense of dread, counting the hours until she could leave. Her attitude was one of resignation. She believed this was all life had to offer. However, one day, a new manager arrived at her workplace who saw potential in Maria that she had never seen in herself. This manager encouraged her, pushed her to take on new projects, and most importantly, taught her to see challenges as opportunities to grow. Gradually, Maria's attitude started to change. She began to approach her work with enthusiasm, seeing each task as a step toward a better future. Within a year, Maria had not only received a promotion, but had also started a part-time business. Based on one of the projects she developed at work, her new attitude had opened a world of opportunities she had never imagined possible. When your story exemplifies a powerful truth, when you change your attitude, you change your life. Your attitude determines not only how you approach your everyday task, but also how you perceive the world around you. Moving forward today, think about how your attitude might be shaping your perception of opportunities. Are you looking through a lens that highlights potential, growth, and possibility? Or are you stuck focusing on barriers and what might go wrong? It's the incredible power of attitude can transform your everyday experiences and redefine what you achieve. Your journey towards success and fulfillment starts not with what you have or where you are, but with what you think about where you're going and what you're going to do next. Let this be the moment you decide to adjust your sails, change your direction, and steer toward the vast, limitless horizons that await you. Remember, the greatest adventure lies not in the lands we seek, but in the eyes through which we see them. Let's look at the world with new eyes together. The art of goal setting is like planting a garden. You start with a vision of lush greenery, a riot of colors from blooming flowers, perhaps some fruit trees and neat rows of vegetables. Just imagining it can bring joy. But to transform this vision into reality, you need to plan meticulously. You decide what to plant, where to plant, and how to nurture your garden. Without this clarity and planning, you just have a patch of dirt. Similarly, your life's goals need that same careful planning and nurturing. You don't wake up one morning to success. It's built day by day, month by month, year by year. Let's talk about how setting daily, monthly, and yearly goals can structure your path to success. Let's think about daily goals, like the water you give to your plants each morning. These are the tasks you set to complete by the end of each day. They might seem minor. A call to a client, a chapter of a book you're reading for development, a jog around the park, but they are crucial. They keep you moving. They keep your garden alive. Now consider your monthly goals. These are like the fertilizers and weed control. Monthly goals require you to reflect on bigger achievements and challenges. Perhaps your goal is to lead a project at work, improve a personal relationship, or achieve a new fitness milestone. These goals make sure that your daily efforts are enhancing your growth, not just keeping you busy. Your early goals? They're like pruning and shaping your trees to ensure they grow in the right direction and bear fruit. These goals are your vision of where you want to be when you look back after a year. Maybe it's a promotion, launching a new business, buying a house, or mastering a new skill. These significant goals ensure your daily and monthly efforts are leading to substantial outcomes. Setting these goals effectively requires clarity, realism, and motivation. 
Begin with clarity. What exactly do you want to achieve? Envision it clearly in your mind, like the detailed plan of a garden. It's realistic. Are these goals achievable with the resources, time, and knowledge you currently have? If not, what do you need to make them achievable? And lastly, attach motivation to each goal. Why is this goal important to you? What is the deeper purpose behind each goal? Is it for your family? For personal satisfaction? Or maybe a dream you've had since childhood? Now, how do you maintain discipline and consistency in pursuing these goals? But simple to state, but challenging to practice, much like gardening, you don't see immediate results when you plant a seed. You have to consistently water it, protect it from weeds, and be patient. It's a practical tea. Keep a journal of your progress. Each day, jot down what you did towards your goals. This act of recording will not only motivate you by showing progress, but also highlight areas needing more effort. Remember, consistency is your ally. Like watering your garden regularly, small daily actions accumulate and lead to remarkable growth over time. This is where discipline comes in. It's not about grand gestures. It's about being steady and reliable. Let me share a story about a friend of mine, John. John dreamt of running a marathon. He set a goal for one year. Every day without fail, he ran a little, some days just a mile, other days more. Each month he entered a shorter race, 5K then tank, building his stamina by the year's end. Not only did John run his marathon, but he also had transformed his health and mindset. John's story illustrates not just the achievement of running a marathon, but the transformation process through disciplined effort and consistent daily actions. It shows how setting structured goals can profoundly impact and change one's life. So as we move forward, think about what gardens you want to cultivate in your life, what daily, monthly, and yearly goals will lead you there. How can you ensure that every day counts towards something meaningful? Setting goals is not just about achieving them. It's about the person you become on your way to achieving them. Each step forward in pursuit of your goals builds you up, strengthens your character, and empowers I want you to reflect on your current goals. Are they clear? Are they driving you forward each day? And most importantly, are you committed to nurturing them like a gardener tending to their beloved garden? Remember, each small step a day is a part of a much bigger journey towards the fulfillment of your dreams. Let's ensure those steps are intentional, purposeful, and leading us exactly where we want to go. Let's consider the power of habits. Now, you might think habits are small components of our day, akin to the seemingly insignificant details like the color of your socks. But let me assure you, habits are far from insignificant. In fact, they are the very threads that weave the tapestry of our lives. Every small habit, every routine we follow diligently, contributes to the grander outcome of our lives. It's not the big leaps, but rather the small steps consistently taken that lead us to the peaks of success and fulfillment. If every day you improve just 1% in any area of your life, what would your life look like at the end of a year? Tremendous change isn't about taking massive action once or twice. It's about making small improvements consistently over time. Let me share a story about someone I know personally, Tom. Tom was not much of a reader. He decided, however, that to grow personally and professionally, he needed to start reading more. So he started small with a habit of reading just 10 pages of a good book every day. 10 pages might take about 15 minutes. So it wasn't a big chunk out of his day, but it was manageable, which is key. After a year, Tom had read about 3,650 pages, the equivalent of about 10 to 12 significant books. This small daily habit immensely expanded his knowledge and perspective, impacting his personal growth and career. Now, how can you harness the power of habits to transform your own life? First, we're going to find a small positive action you can integrate into your daily routine. It doesn't have to be monumental. Just like Tom with his reading, find something you can commit to that doesn't overwhelm you. The next step is consistency. The challenge isn't just starting. It's keeping it up every day. Here's a practical tip. Tie your new habit to an existing one. For example, if you want to start meditating, do it right after brushing your teeth in the morning. This pairing can cue the behavior and make it easier to stick. Another key to forming lasting habits is tracking your progress. You could use a simple calendar to mark off days when you successfully complete your habit. This visual representation of your consistency can be incredibly motivating. Plus, it provides a tangible record of your commitment and progress. Here's another example. Sarah, a client of mine who wanted to improve her health, she decided to start by drinking more water every day. She set a goal to drink a glass of water before each meal. Simple enough, right? By sticking to this small habit, 
Not only did she stay better hydrated, but she also ate less during meals and felt more energetic. Over time, this contributed to significant weight loss and improved well-being. We discuss habits. Consider the areas in your life where a small change could lead to big results. What is one small habit you can start today that could transform an aspect of your life? Maybe it's waking up 10 minutes earlier to plan your day or taking a walk at lunch instead of scrolling through your phone. Whatever it is, commit to it, track your progress, and watch as the power of habit transforms your life. Now, I want you to remember that the foundation of success in any endeavor lies in the routines we establish. Every habit you build is like a brick in the foundation of the life you are building. With each positive habit, you are constructing a resilient, robust structure that will support your greatest dreams and ambitions. When we think about overcoming obstacles, it's easy to imagine these huge barriers that drastically alter our path. But in reality, the obstacles we face daily are often much subtler, yet their impact over time can be just as profound. Per day, we encounter challenges that can either stall our progress or, if approached with the right mindset, propel us forward. Let's consider the common daily obstacles first. One might be procrastination, a classic hindrance that prevents many from reaching their full potential. Another could be the negative influences around us, people who either directly or indirectly encourage us to give up or settle for less. And then there's the challenge of self-doubt, that inner voice that whispers, maybe you can't do this. Now, how do we overcome these challenges? The key lies not just in identifying these obstacles, but in developing strategies to combat them. Take procrastination. It's often rooted in fear, the fear of failure, or even the fear of success. It's the antidote to fear is action. Action dispels fear because it promotes progress, and progress builds confidence. A practical strategy to overcome procrastination is the five-minute takeoff. This involves starting a task you've been putting off with just five minutes of effort. Once you start, you'll often find it's easier to keep going. It's regarding negative influences, it's essential to curate your environment. Just as a gardener removes weeds to protect the plants, sometimes we need to weed out negativity to safeguard our growth. This might mean spending less time with certain people or consuming less of the media that feeds our fears and doubts. Instead, surround yourself with positivity, people, and content that uplift you and push you forward. Now to the most personal of challenges, the self-doubt. Overcoming this starts with affirmations and validations of your worth. Every morning, remind yourself of your achievements, your strengths, and your goals. Speak to yourself with kindness and encouragement. Remember, the words we whisper to ourselves are powerful. They shape our self-perception and ultimately our actions. Let's draw inspiration from a story of resilience and determination. About a young woman named Lisa. Lisa had always dreamed of becoming a writer, but she struggled with dyslexia, the challenge of just reading. And writing made her early education a torment, and she was often discouraged by her teachers from pursuing writing as a career. But Lisa loved to tell stories, and she refused to let her condition define her capabilities every day with the help of supportive mentors. Lisa practiced. She read everything she could wrote daily, and learned strategies to manage her dyslexia. It was a slow process filled with frustration and setbacks, but she persisted, driven by her love for storytelling. Years later, not only did she graduate with honors in English literature, but she also published her first novel, which became a bestseller. Lisa's story is a testament to the power of resilience, the refusal to give up despite the obstacles. Lisa's journey underscores a crucial lesson. The obstacles we face daily need not define our limits. Instead, they can define our victories if only we choose to keep moving forward. Now think about the obstacles you face each day. How do they affect you and how can you respond effectively? Remember, overcoming obstacles is not about erasing them. It's about equipping yourself to navigate through them, learning and growing every step of the way. Today, I encourage you to reflect on the obstacles that have been holding you back. Think about the practical strategies you can implement to overcome them. Maybe it's starting your day with a positive affirmation, or perhaps it's setting aside five minutes to begin a task you've been avoiding. In overcoming our daily obstacles, we build the resilience and determination that pave the way for long-term success. Each challenge we face and overcome is a step towards becoming the person we aspire to be. So let's commit to that journey, not just for today, but for every day ahead of us. Let this be the moment you decide to tackle your obstacles head on armed with strategies, inspired by stories of resilience, and driven by a newfound determination to emerge victorious. Let's not just dream about success. Let's work through the barriers, cultivate resilience, and achieve it.
to talk about a word that many fear, but few understand is true power, failure. You see, the concept of failure has been misunderstood for too long. Most people see failure as a final destination, a mark of defeat. But what if we redefine failure? What if we viewed it not as a blockade, but as a stepping stone, an invaluable teacher? Imagine for a moment that every setback, every hurdle, and every fall you've experienced is not pulling you back, but propelling you forward, enriching your journey with lessons and resilience. This shift in perspective can transform not only how you tackle challenges, but how you progress towards your goal. Let me share with you a story about Thomas Edison, a man whose name became synonymous with invention and creativity, yet who was no stranger to failure. When Edison was developing the incandescent light bulb, he failed over a thousand times. Yes, over a thousand attempts that did not achieve what he set out to do. But Edison famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. His persistence and reframing of failure as a discovery process eventually led to a breakthrough that illuminated the world. Now consider your own life. How often have you faced a setback and thought, maybe this isn't for me? We've all been there. But what if, like Edison, each of those moments was guiding you closer to your own proverbial light bulb? Learning from failure means embracing the lessons. Inherent in setbacks. Take Sarah, a former client of mine who started a small online business selling handmade crafts. Initially, her business didn't take off as expected. She faced months of poor sales. <laughs> Feedback on the high prices of her products and immense market competition. Each of these points could have been seen as a failure. Instead, Sarah took each piece of feedback and each slow sales month as a lesson. She adjusted her pricing strategy, improved her marketing efforts, and differentiated her product line. Over time, these adjustments transformed her struggling business into a profitable venture. So how can you start learning from your failures? Well, first, it's about mindset. Begin by asking yourself after each setback, what can I learn from this? This question shifts your focus from disappointment to development. Second, foster a culture of experimentation. When you try new things, view each attempt as a test, a means to gather data. Some experiments will succeed and many will fail. Each failure, however, will give you insights that are crucial for your next attempt. Lastly, discuss your failures. Yes, talk about them in our meetings or with your peers. Share what didn't work. This not only normalizes failure, but also cultivates an environment where collective learning thrives. It's like turning on a light that suddenly makes previously hidden paths clear for not just you, but also for those walking the journey with you. To truly embrace and learn from daily setbacks, you must cultivate resilience. Remember, resilience isn't about never falling. It's about how quickly you get back up. It's about using the stones others might see as stumbling blocks as stepping stones. Now, I want you to think about a recent setback you've experienced. Reflect on it, not with regret, but with curiosity. Ask yourself, what has this experience taught me? Perhaps it revealed a skill you need to develop, or maybe it showed you that a certain approach isn't the best. Whatever the lesson, it's valuable. It's progress. I encourage you to carefully consider this idea. Every failure is a chapter in your book of success. It's up to you to find the lessons in each chapter and use them to write a story of triumph. Remember, the most successful people are not those who never failed, but those who learn the most from their failures. Imagine you're sitting at your desk, confronted with a challenge that seems insurmountable. The path ahead isn't clear, and the easy solutions have already proven ineffective. It's at this moment, right at the edge of frustration, where creativity and innovation can emerge as your greatest allies. This creativity isn't just for artists, musicians, or writers. It's a valuable skill that each of us can harness to improve our everyday problem-solving capabilities. Let's consider the story of the Post-it note. A product we all know and love. This innovation was born not out of a deliberate attempt to create a new product, but from a perceived failure. Spencer Silver, a scientist at 3 was attempting to develop a super strong adhesive. Instead, he accidentally created a low-tech, reusable adhesive. It wasn't until his colleague, Art Fry, thought of using this adhesive to anchor his bookmark in his hymn book that the idea for Post-it Notes was born. From this small idea, fueled by creativity and a different perspective, came a product that transformed the way people organize information globally. Remember that creativity is not a rare gift bestowed upon a lucky few. It is a skill that can be cultivated and utilized. Every problem we face is an opportunity to apply creative thinking, whether it's finding a new way to organize your daily schedule or reimagining how your team works together. Creativity is the engine that drives innovation. Let's embrace it, nurture it, and watch as it transforms not just the problems we face, but the very landscapes of our lives. 
Let this be the moment where you decide to bring creativity and innovation, not just into your projects, but into your everyday problem solving. Let's innovate in the small moments and watch how they lead to monumental results. How we start our day often and sets the tone for the hours that follow, making that initial momentum crucial. But equally important is how we maintain that drive through the day and cap it off in a way that sets us up for success tomorrow. It's about creating a cycle of productivity that builds on itself day after day. Let's talk about how to ignite that initial spark each morning. Imagine your day as a lunch pad. Each morning, you're not just getting up. You're launching into your day. This starts the night before. A restful night's sleep is your foundation. From there, your morning routine can either turbocharge your launch or be a wet blanket on your engine. So consider this. What's the first action you take? Do you reach for your phone, immediately inundating yourself with emails, with social media or news? Or do you give yourself space to wake up purposefully, perhaps with a few moments of meditation, a morning walk or a healthy breakfast? The key is to start your day with something that aligns with your personal and professional goals. Maybe it's reading a chapter of a book that inspires you or jotting down your most critical tasks for the day. This kind of start acts as a springboard giving you the momentum to dive into your tasks with clarity and purpose. But as the day unfolds, it's natural for that initial burst of energy to wane. That's where midday evaluations come into play. Think of it like a pit stop in a race. By noon or early afternoon, take a few minutes to assess your progress. Am I on track with the day's goals? What has been distracting me? Do I need to adjust my plan to be more effective in the afternoon? This isn't just about catching up or adjusting your to-do list about recalibrating your mental energy. Maybe you need a brief change of scenery, a walk around the block, or a few minutes of stretching. This midday check-in helps shift your brain from a potentially autopilot mode back into active and engaged drive. Now let's discuss ending the day on a high note. You, how you finish your day can be just as important as how you start it. One effective technique is to end with a review and a plan. Let's take the last 10 to 15 minutes of your workday to review what you've accomplished and outline what needs to be tackled tomorrow. This practice does two things. It gives you a sense of closure and accomplishment for the day, and it sets up your next day for success. An inspiring story that comes to mind is that of Eleanor, a small business owner who found herself overwhelmed daily, barely keeping her head above water. She started implementing these techniques with remarkable results. Dear morning, began with reading industry news over coffee, which not only informed her, but stimulated ideas relevant to her business. Her midday evaluations often involved reassessing customer feedback and adjusting her project timelines accordingly. And her day always ended with her summarizing the day's achievements and sketching out the next day's priorities. Dillinger's story underscores a vital point. Building and sustaining momentum isn't about monumental changes. It's about being intentional with your time throughout the day, every day. So as we move forward, I invite each of you to consider these strategies. How will you start your day tomorrow? What can you incorporate into your routine that aligns with your long-term goals? How will you reassess and adjust midday? And finally, how can you close your day in a way that celebrates your successes and sets the stage for tomorrow? Remember, the goal is not to fill every minute with busyness, but to give purpose or intention to your actions. By doing so, you'll find that not only are you more productive, but you are also more fulfilled in your work and your personal life. Let's commit to these practices. Let's start strong, reassess often, and end with purpose. By building this kind of momentum, there's no limit to what we can achieve, both individually and together. Let's make each day a stepping stone to the next, creating a journey marked by growth, success, and continuous improvement. Evening reflection is like turning the last page of a chapter in a book. It's a moment to pause, to breathe, and to consider what you've experienced before you turn to the next page. It's this practice when done consistently. It's not just about closure for the day. It's about crafting a foundation for tomorrow and beyond. Tonight, as you sit quietly before going to bed, you have a powerful opportunity to set the stage for the days to come. Let's explore the profound impact of ending your day with thoughtful reflection and strategic planning. This process begins by reviewing what you accomplished during the day. Ask yourself, what did I learn today? Which task did I complete? What challenges did I encounter and how did I address them? This isn't about dwelling on what went wrong. Instead, it's about recognizing the lessons learned from each experience. For instance, let's consider the story of Michael. A young entrepreneur I once mentored. Every evening, Michael spent a few minutes reflecting on his day. 
He would note what strategies drove his business forward and what missteps might have cost him. This daily practice didn't just help Michael adjust his strategies overnight. It also helped him see patterns over time. Guiding him to refine his business model, his journal became a treasure trove of insights. A roadmap that helped navigate his journey from a struggling startup to a thriving enterprise. Reflection is powerful, but its true value is unlocked when it's paired with planning for the future. This means not just reflecting on what has happened, but using that insight to shape what should happen next. Each evening after reflection, take a few minutes to set your goals for the next day. Write down the key tasks that will drive you toward your long-term objectives. This act of planning doesn't just clarify your immediate next steps. It also aligns your daily actions with your larger life goals, ensuring that each day contributes meaningfully to your vision. Moreover, maintaining a journal planner is crucial in this process. It's your personal archive, a record of where you've been and where you're headed. Keeping a journal allows you to track your progress, understand your habits, and maintain your focus. When you write down your thoughts and plans, they become more concrete. The act of writing itself can be a commitment, a declaration of your intent to follow through. Just to illustrate, there was once a writer who, despite her busy schedule, committed every evening to jot down a few ideas for her next book and her reflections on writing. This simple act of evening, reflection and planning allowed her to progress steadily on her book, even amidst a hectic life. Her journal was not just a collection of thoughts. It was her anchor, keeping her connected to her goals every day. So how can you incorporate these practices into your own life? Start by establishing a quiet, undisturbed time each evening for reflection. It doesn't need to be lengthy. Even 10 to 15 minutes can suffice. Reflect on the day's events. Put down key learnings and identify opportunities for improvement. Then, transition to planning. Decide on the most crucial tasks for the next day, those that will bring you closer to your goals. Just write these tasks in your journal or planner, setting your intentions clearly and concretely. Remember, this isn't just about efficiency. It's about growth. By reflecting each evening, you're not just planning your tasks. You're cultivating a mindset of continual improvement. You're learning from the past, not living in it, you're preparing for the future, not fearing it. Think about the impact that nightly reflection and planning could have on your life. Imagine where you might be a month, a year, or even a decade from now if you ended each day with such thoughtful consideration. This practice is a gift you give to yourself, a tool that can sharpen your focus, enhance your productivity, and deepen your satisfaction in life's journey. Let's make a commitment tonight to begin this practice. Reflect, plan, and prepare for the future with intention and insight. Let's not leave our futures to chance, but actively craft them with the thoughtful conclusion of each day. This is how we transform ordinary days into extraordinary lives. Let's start tonight. As we wrap up our time together, let's revisit the core ideas that have shaped our conversation today. We began with the acknowledgement that every day is a fresh opportunity, a blank canvas upon which we can paint our aspirations and ambitions. We talked about the power of setting goals, not just for the year or month, but daily, ensuring every step we take moves us closer to our larger vision. We delve into the significance of habits, those small repeated actions that, over time, can lead to monumental changes in our lives. By starting strong each day, reflecting midway, and ending with purposeful review and planning, we set a rhythm that perpetuates success and personal growth. Let me leave you with one final story. To ignite your motivation, it's about a young artist named Emily who struggled early in her career Every gallery she approached rejected her work, and every critique seemed more disheartening than the last. But Emily used each rejection as fuel. Each critique is a lesson. Every evening, she reflected on her day's work, planned what she would refine or try anew the next day, and slowly, she began to evolve her style. Years later, Emily held her own exhibition in one of those galleries that had once rejected her. Her perseverance, fueled by daily habits of reflection and resilience, led her to success. Emily's story is a testament to the power of embracing each day as a new chapter in your life story. It's about not being deterred by setbacks, but using them as stepping stones. Every challenge, every failure, is laden with lessons and opportunities for growth, if only we choose to see them and learn. Now, I encourage each of you to commit to applying these principles. Consider what small actions you can take daily that will lead you to the future you desire, whether it's setting clearer goals, fostering positive habits, or taking time for daily reflection and planning. Each step is a move toward a more deliberate and fulfilling life. Myself tonight, what can I do tomorrow that will bring me closer to my dreams? Embrace the possibility of what can be achieved, not just when 
inspired, but every single day through consistent, purposeful action. Let's not just dream about success. Let's work for it. Let's plan for it. And most importantly, let's prepare for it every day. The path to achievement is laid one stone at a time, one day at a time, one decision at a time. And it starts anew each morning. So embrace tomorrow with enthusiasm and a clear sense of direction, knowing that with each dawn comes a new opportunity to move closer to your dreams. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Together, let's look forward to each new day, not just with hope, but with action. Let's make tomorrow, and every day after that, a testament to our resilience and our commitment to personal excellence. Go forward, take action, and let's make our dreams a reality.